with the right aggregate, it's you know right mix of, of porous substrate and an organic bed that gets fed carbon-rich organic nutrients. What we're going for is biofilm buildup, and we're going for beneficial microorganisms to be dominating that biofilm. And we can do that with a proper um, moisture content of the aggregate, flooding and drain cycles, and the stabilization of the colony of, of organisms in the aggregate. And because this bed floods and drains in a cycle, once an hour, every couple hours, it forces out expired air, CO2, that was produced by microbes. And then it, as it drains, it, in, it sucks in the atmospheric air to pull oxygen out, to pull oxygen in to this porous aggregate bed. So the oxygen uh, uh, oxygenates the microorganisms and the, um, and the, and the forcing of the, the air out uh, uh, nourishes the plants, brings up the hydration, um, and then forces out the expired bacterial CO2. They breathe oxygen like people do. And so, unlike the plants that are growing above, they inhaling obviously and consuming oxygen and expiring I mean consuming CO2 and expiring oxygen. So what I'm doing what I want to point out right here is that I have uh, sort of in sort of uh, uh, some sort of similarity to growing in the ground. I have as I have removed plants on occasion I prefer I prefer not to take the entire root mass out. Sometimes just cutting the plant back, uh, pulling up the roots a bit so that which they dislodge uh, and giving some room for the, the a transplant to go in in the same spot. And what that does is it gives us a, a very close proximity to the microorganisms in the aggregate. Since they're colonized on the roots and around the roots and they're taking nourishment from the plant that they were there, that was there, then uh, they're happy to help the, the new acquaintance and consume the, the root polysaccharides and help direct the, the growth of it, coordinate the nutrient uptake. And we bring, it brings worms in. Um, we do something like that over here. I just put a little bit of some roots that were taken up from another plant and laid them on top of the aggregate because what that does, what that tends to do, it brings up earthworms that feed on on the carbon when they're looking for more and it's at the surface and then they are then colonizing this root zone with beneficial microorganisms that are excreted out of its digestive tract. So yeah, we like to support our worms, support our microbes, and support our plants. <laughs>